Hi guys, welcome back to DAT. In this video, we are gonna be taking a look at a flight stack that I have that I'm gonna be using in a new build that I'm gonna be doing. This is the JH MCU stack. It is a 20 by 20 stack and it is an F7. So let's get this open and see how she looks. We're going So here she is, this is the JH MCU flight stack, comes in this very ordinary packaging, but she is a very capable um, flight stack and very reasonably priced. So let's see what we get. There's everything out of the packaging. So you've got a battery connector, you've got some gummies and you've got some mounting bolts and screws. And there goes one out of the packet. So they were coming very useful. Obviously you need those. And in this part, you have the ESC board. Hold that up to the camera so you can see her. I must point out this is a HD version. So this is plug and play DJI. And the price of this is around $50, 50 pounds. So she's very reasonable. And she looks like great quality to be honest with you as well. So there's the ESC. Uh, what else is in this packet? Battery connections. So you get your battery connections with it. You get your HD wiring, your plug and play wiring. Very useful. Some of them don't actually give you that. I must say they have given you quite a chunky capacitor in that. You might be able to find a better capacitor than that to be honest with you. Uh, that is huge for a 2020 stack. So yeah, I'd probably recommend maybe finding something a bit better than that. And in here is the actual flight controller. So you've got more plug and play wires. That's for an air unit. This one looks like it's for a Cadex or you can actually just solder it in yourself. So two options there. Got another wire here. This would be for your actual ESC to your flight controller. Here, here's your actual flight controller itself. There she is, you've got a USB-C connection. So no micro USB, should be very good. You've got plug and play, and you've got your connection to your um, ESC board. This is a very capable stack, like I said. Let me run through some specs for you, because she is pretty good, actually. Obviously, this is a 20 by 20 mounting. This is an F7 version. Absolutely cracking little board. This is the deluxe version that I have. They do this in various different states or sizes if you prefer. The deluxe one that I have here is a 40 amp. They do do a 20 amp. So 40 amp ESC or a 20 amp ESC. It's got six yachts on it. So you've got loads of things you can actually connect up to it. Probably more than you'll ever need. It's more than I'll ever need to be honest with you. HD plug and play. It's got a barometer in here. It's got black box as well. Black box barometer, I must point out, is only on the deluxe version. It's got LED support. It does two to six S LiPo, USB-C, like I said. This is a very, very capable board. And I just wanted to show you this, guys, because I'm actually going to be doing it or putting it in my new build. I'm going to be putting it in the new Apex Micro 5-inch that I'm going to be doing, so please do watch out for that video. And then I'm going to be doing a follow-up of what I actually think to this and how it performed and if there's any difference. Because if you follow my videos, you know that I love the Mambas. And we are going to find out what I think to this later on. There you go, guys. Just wanted to show you that. Smash that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Stick around for that build because it's going to be a good one.